beautiful day. Uh, we're going to go off and do a town hall meeting over the studios in uh, Manchester. And then we're going to be over at Seacoast Harley Davidson uh, for another stop later today. And we're going to be back uh, next week and actually on a Harley. Uh, it's our goal to get out. In fact, I'm looking forward to the other night to get to all the counties in New Hampshire on a Harley. Uh, so we'll be setting it up in the day to come. Uh, you can see with the crowd inside and the crowd outside, I think there's a lot of enthusiasm. Yes, New Hampshire is an independent state. Uh, I think they, they're ready to make a decision without people telling them from the media or outside of the state who and what they should vote for. For one reason I mentioned is I've heard from other people now that across the state, but across the country, that they want, they want a, uh, a candidate who's going to tell them what they're for, not what they're against or who they're against, but what they're for. And so we're laying out what we're for, which is about reform, which is about growth, which is about safety, and we're going to continue to make that uh, here in New Hampshire to make the case as we roll across the country. How are you going to your time between here and, and Iowa? There's been a sort of a bad rap on me by some that you're going to be Iowa-centric, and uh, not, not giving New Hampshire the short shot. I think that's a narrative pushed by other campaigns. Uh, we've been here, in my recollection, is seven different days already this year. Uh, I just became a candidate on Monday, and so I'm uh, spending time here. I'll be here next weekend. I think people should look going ahead now as a candidate and look at uh, my time here. And uh, again, I, I've said as I've been here before, for me, New Hampshire is a lot like a major portions of my state, Wisconsin, both demographically and geographically. We feel a kinship, and we think today's uh, efforts here at Joey's Diner uh, point out that there's a real interest. Governor, is you're the not big, shy about oh, the large number of Republicans. Is the large number of Republicans like, the same as any well, I think it's a good thing overall. I think it shows that Republicans are enthusiastic about having a new president. I think the crop of candidates is probably the best we've had since 1980. So I think there's a lot of enthusiasm in America that people uh, we're optimistic. We're not. You don't think there's too many? No, I think in the end, I, I think voters here in New Hampshire take their job seriously. First in the nation primary, I think other voters take the process seriously. I think they're going to look at each of the candidates, spend the time really looking at not just what they say, but what they've done. What makes us unique is there are fighters who get to win those fights, and there are winners who get to take on the big fights. We've done both. When people look at our record and they say, if I'm going to make promises about being president, I can actually deliver on them because I've delivered in probably the most difficult of circumstances of the last four years in the country. Governor, Governor. Governor, you uh, have not been shy about weighing in on cultural hot-button issues. Abortion, gay marriage, the Boy Scouts lifting their ban on gay scout masters. A lot of people think that issues like that are going to be losers for the GOP in 2016. What do you think? Well, those aren't what I'm running on. It's just the unique thing that people are surprised about is I actually answer questions. Uh, a lot of politicians like to hide uh, behind their, uh, their issues. I answer questions, but I think people have seen in Wisconsin. I, I carried not only 96% of the Republican votes in Wisconsin at three last three elections. I carried independence by 11, almost 12 points. And that's because people know I don't just talk about I fight and win on economic and fiscal issues. I'm a social conservative as well, but, but my primary uh, reputation comes from my work on economic and fiscal issues as president. That's where I'd focus in on. To me, I'm applying for a job. <clears throat> when you apply for the job, you tell people all sorts of answers to any questions that your potential employers ask. But in the end, you also focus in on what are you going to accomplish, what are your top priorities. And for me, the three things I mentioned, talking about reform, transferring power from Washington into the hands of the hardworking taxpayers in states like New Hampshire and others across the country. It's about building a better economy where everybody can live their peace and their dream. That's growth. And it's about protecting our children and grandchildren from radical Islamic terrorism and other threats around the world. That's true uh, safety. So we're going to talk about uh, forum growth and safety throughout this campaign. And uh, like I said, it's a little unusual. Uh, it took a while for my media uh, press corps in Wisconsin to get used to the fact that I actually answer questions and speak the truth. Uh, and I'm going to keep doing that here in the press. Governor, I'll take you. Hey, Next one, but, but let me just, the weird question, I apologize to national media, but how many of you are from New Hampshire? Right here, Governor. I'm gonna try, Can I follow up on the last question? I'm going to try and ask a few questions, or answer a few questions to folks from New Hampshire. Sure, well, you had mentioned about answering questions. Do you, first, do you plan town hall meetings when, and also, as it related to that, uh, when you were inside, there was a, a guy who was doing retail politics with you. He said he was going to bring you some Lebanese baklava later today. Assuming he does, you're going to try some. Oh, we'll, we'll try just about anything. Uh, we've had fun along the way. I love to eat my way around America. I love to ride my way too, which is why I'm going to come back next week on a Harley. Uh, but we've done, I've done some town halls already uh, in the past. I've done some in front of the meet. I've done others at, at events 
Um, again, I think this is the sixth or seventh day uh, since the beginning of the year that we've been here. I think that's pretty consistent with a lot of other national candidates, but we'll keep coming back a lot. And uh, we're working with different places and different formats. Right now, next stop in Manchester, I'm doing in studio uh, a town hall meeting over at one of the TV stations there, and we'll continue to do that. Just this week, it's the announcement week. We're really doing rallies across the country, and then we'll keep coming back to New Hampshire as part of the tradition here in New Town Halls. Just like I did a gazillion town hall meetings in the three times I ran for governor in the state of Wisconsin. Governor, Governor uh, do you think that Trump's rhetoric is hurting the GOP given the Univision poll that shows 90% of Hispanic voters have heard his comments and 80% of those are offended by them? Donald Trump can speak for himself, and I'm not going to put words in the mouth of any candidate, him or anybody else out there. As I mentioned, I'm going to tell people what I'm for, uh, and I think the more people hear that, and, and I think they're tired of hearing candidates lash out uh, at other candidates, particularly in the primary process. So I'm going to talk to people about what I'm for, uh, how uh, I, I think when it comes to voters just in general, uh, be they Hispanic or anything else, uh, most voters care about uh, a more free and prosperous country. They care about keeping our children safe. They care about transferring power from Washington back into the states and ultimately to the hardworking people of this country. Last question. Constance, report pulling a release. How big will public sector unions be an essential message in that? Well, for us, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not, again, this is maybe unique. Uh, for some covering this stuff, but I'm going to talk about the same things in the primary, I'm going to talk about in the general election. I'm going to talk about reform, growth, and safety. I'm going to talk about it through the New Hampshire primary. I'm going to talk about it beyond that. I'm going to talk about when I... Oh, on, on those issues? I mean, I, I think the biggest weak spot is that what makes us a great candidate against Hillary Clinton is three simple things. I'm a new, fresh face. She's a candidate of the past. I'm from. I'm about as anti-Washington as you can get. She embodies everything that's wrong with Washington. And I've actually gotten something done. I've gotten real things done in a tough state. I think it's hard, you'd be hard pressed to even find supporters of her if we tell you that she's done much more than, than uh, accumulate a lot of frequent flyer miles traveling around the world. But as Secretary of the State, think about this. As Secretary of the State, I think it would be hard to argue that the places she's been involved with over the first four years of President Obama's tenure aren't more messed up today than they were before she and the President took office. I think if people look at that, they want new, fresh leadership. If they want big, bold ideas from outside of Washington. If they want someone who can provide leadership that actually gets things done, Perfect. I'm the best contrast to Hillary Clinton. Governor, were you more pleased to see that Papp is coming back to Milwaukee this morning, or were you more pleased to see the uh, Wisconsin Supreme Court ruling? That's a tough call. PBR being brewed in Milwaukee is kind of cool. Although, the, you know, a lot of it was actually brewed at the Milwaukee uh, Miller Brewery, if you can imagine that. And Frederick Papps is probably rolling over his grave. But yeah, no, we're, we're pleased. And the bottom line is we said all along uh, that the courts uh, would ultimately uh, rule the side of the original circuit court judge, and we're confident but as folks in Wisconsin will tell you, I've gone through these battles so many times, uh, I don't get too up or too down. I'm pretty even killed in all this, and so we're pleased. It's just one more thing that allows us to take a step forward. Okay, we gotta go. Sorry, guys. Thanks. Yep. Thank you.